What's up guys, Nolan here. We missed something important in the Chronicles of Rizzy videos and I need your help to figure it out. But first, yes, we have complete confirmation from BSG this time that this new event that started earlier today is the first event of pre-wipe. To stay up to date with the minute by minute of these events, you need to follow me on Twitter or join our Discord, both linked below. Sometimes, like today, I might not be able to get a video out right when the event starts. So again, the Twitter and Discord will be the best place for the minute by minute stuff. Now, for those that might not know, what this means is we will now begin to deteriorate into madness in Tarkov. With each new event, whether it be daily or more, the Tarkov that you knew will get crazier and crazier until the wipe resets us all back to nothing. If you liked Tarkov for its realistic aspects or survival gameplay, that is gone, and your current stash and everything that you own will also be gone soon, so use it or lose it. This is part of the development process for games that are in development, and if this annoys you, then know that there will come a day that there will be no more wipes, if you choose there to be, because BSG have a plan to have separate servers on release. One server where the game will never wipe again and one where it will wipe every several months or so both walled off from each other for separate ecosystems and balance but that day hasn't come yet and we will probably have at least two or three more wipes until then so for this first event we have insane leveling all xp gains in the game have been increased exponentially if you play today you will notice that simply drinking a juice will increase your metabolism significantly shooting in full auto will increase your recoil control significantly while killing something will increase your mastery on the weapon at insane rates now to be clear in some cases it is still possible to cap out for the skills in raid these are not uncapped leveling so if you notice the red arrow next to your skill then just get out of raid and start a new one then do whatever you were doing to level that skill or that weapon now even though we know that this is pre-wipe we still don't know how long it will go for the last event could be tomorrow or it could be wednesday or it could be next week there is nothing to say otherwise my gut tells me that it won't last long though so if that's correct then i think we're looking at the next week for the wipe as long as everything goes smoothly meaning as long as bsg don't hit any last second issues and then they extend the pre-wipe. The one sort of wrench I could see being thrown into this is this turns into a lore event around Lightkeeper. Then it might go along the lines of what we saw with the money event or the ARG where there's steps that need to be completed before we get to another step. But again, there's nothing to say that they will happen. This could just be the usual few days of crazy events and then a wipe. The reason that I think it's possible that that happens is because BSG actually hinted at something in a private discussion the other day. And this part is actually the only part that I'm comfortable sharing because I need your help with it. I was talking to some BSG devs and we were discussing the Chronicles of Rizzy series in particular. During the discussion, one of the devs just casually dropped a hint saying, oh, by the way, nice guy, you missed something. I told you to pay close attention, so maybe go back and check them out again. That was a direct quote. He literally said, oh, and by the way, nice guy, you missed something. And we were talking about the Chronicles of Rizzy. So they straight up told me that I missed something from the Chronicles of Rizzy series. That's a hint to the future and actually could be very important going forward. It could be just something strictly in lore that we'll learn, or it could be leading to something that we'll need to know in order to gain access to Lightkeeper. We don't actually know. Now, because I was trying to avoid another nuke situation, I went a little bit easy with the stuff that I was discussing in the videos, but it didn't stop me from having my theories. Right now, the only thing that I can think of is that Rizzy's father is Antlerman. That came up a couple times in the Chronicles of Rizzy videos, and I don't think I mentioned it in any recent video because it's something that came up with the first one in particular a couple months ago, but in the lore, Rizzy's dad was lost and thought to be taken prisoner by Lightkeeper or killed on Lighthouse Island. So this obviously leading to the question, is Antlerman or Lightkeeper Rizzy's dad possibly? That is something that I probably should have discussed more, but just in case that isn't what I missed, I'm asking for your help in finding what else it might be. Whatever it is, I'm confident that it is in some way, shape, or form important, otherwise they wouldn't have told me. Again, this is just a theory here, nothing is concrete. If Antlerman is Rizzy's dad, what if Rizzy is our connection to Lightkeeper? And because Rizzy knows his dad and his dad lets Rizzy get through, maybe we get through through with Rizzy. Just spitballing here again, just a theory. But if that is something that we can really make a good connection to, it's something that we're going to need to follow up on with the wipe. In case anyone doesn't think that that's possible, something I need to add here is the Chronicles of Rizzy does in fact connect directly to the in-game universe as after the last episode where Chepashilla, Rizzy's friend, joins Gluhar's crew, guess what showed up in game? A Gluhar bodyguard named Chepashilla. So they're not messing around with this stuff. It could be really important. Any ideas that you guys have, please share in the comments. Be careful to look for others with similar ideas and like those comments to push them to the top. We also, of course, have the Sons of Soon section of my Discord. You'll see how that works when you join it. And when the wipe rolls around, we're going to compile everything into one separate channel on wipe day because we're also going to be helping the Escape from Tarkov wiki page and gathering verified information. Don't worry, nothing will get to the wiki, at least not from us, unless it's actually been verified, but we will have a location to put all the theories up and put everything that we found to get the best information as quickly as possible. Not everyone will be able to write on the form or contribute, but if you're confident or 
are otherwise very attached to a specific theory, make sure that you're heard again, either in my Discord or in the comment section here of these videos, especially this one. This will be the biggest patch in the history of the game, so get ready because it's not here just soon TM, not just soon soon, but soon soon soon. The pre-ripe events have officially begun. But that is all for today, guys. If you like this video, there's a button for that. Hit the subscribe one for more like it. Jump into the comments to let me know what you think I missed in the Chronicles of Rizzy or what event will be next. Follow me on Twitter or join the Discord, both linked below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. See you guys.